Okay, now that you have your API key and have set up custom storage, let's integrate FileStack into our React demo site. First, let's go and clone the app from the public GitHub repo that we have set up. You can do that here. We are going to go ahead and clone and download and copy the GitHub URL to our terminal. We'll type git clone, paste in the URL, and let it download the code. Once that's done, um, we're going to cd in into the folder that was created. We're going to run npm install to install all the dependencies. Great, now that the installation uh, process is completed, we can just run npm start to start the app. And you can access the web server at localhost 8080. Now let's open up the code and do some integrating. We'll open up a new window and use Sublime as our new uh, code editor. All right, let's take a look at the code. Let's open up index.html and add our file stack API library. Go to our file stack documentation site to copy the code snippet so that we can paste it into index.html above the other JavaScript includes. Next, we're going to add our API key to the file picker object using the set key function. You'll need to copy the API key from your file stack dashboard. And paste it into the set key function parameter. Save the code. Now let's go to the upload form on our demo site to test it out. Here's the form where users can enter the details of the product and upload an image for the product. As you can see, if we click the upload button right now, it doesn't do anything at the moment. Let's go back to our code and open up add.jsx. Let's change the tab stop real quick. Now we're going to have to find the upload button element and we'll add an onclick event to it. We'll type onclick equals and let's define the function as uh, upload image. We'll define this function in, in a bit. Okay, once you've written the onclick event, let's um, go up top and let's copy that, go up top and define our upload image function. Go to the documentation site at filestack.com and we can go to file upload JavaScript API, pick and copy the code example under the filePicker.pick function so that we can copy and paste it into our code in our uh, upload image function. Let's change to use a modal container. Now we'll define the callback function to save our image after a user has successfully uploaded an image. We are going to assign the URL from the blob object that's uh, sent back to us from the file stack API. The file handler is the last part of the, the string of blob.url. Once, once we got the file handler, we are going to assign it to the data set of um, the button object so that we can access it later. All right, that should do it. Let's go test it out.
I'm going to create an ad to find a babysitter for my puppy. His name is Huey Puppy, and I'm looking for someone to babysit my dog for three days. The price is $60, category is dog, dogs, and uh, let's upload an image from my Facebook account. I click on the Facebook integration, click on the puppies folder, and select the image. Great, the image was successfully uploaded. Now all we have to do is click the save button and then we'll go back to the home page to see if he appears on the home page. There he is, he'll be puppy.